Well, I, I told our guys I think we should have final exams more often. Uh, they did not agree with me, but really proud of this group uh, after having a tough one the other night. And then they've been in final exams, and we've had to modify and do some different things. But thought that it was a, a gritty performance, one that had certainly mistakes like every game does, but I thought we responded to adversity better this afternoon and then pushing forward into a good performance. And we, this group and I talked about rebounding last week, and to, to get one more rebound was just enough. You know, when you're struggling a little bit, just getting a win, especially in a close game, you know, it, it, it gets down, you know, it's, 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 it's a tight game, it's 61-61, and you, you guys, you know, were able to prevail when, in a couple of times when it hasn't. So just talk a bit confidence-wise and just psyche and everything, just proving you can win, win a close game. Like yeah, no, no doubt, Larry. I mean, it, this builds confidence. You, you gain confidence from doing. And the verse can be true when it's happened to you a few times where you've lost a lead in the end, like that. That, that can have a negative effect, of course. So for, for our group and, uh, you know, Keyshawn right here next to me, the, the plays that were made and people will look at a score here or a free throw here, but there was a number of different things that the guys were connected on to get a couple key stops. And of course, we, we've talked the last few days very, very much about rebounding and there were some key rebounds that, that were grabbed out there. And, and Keyshawn, uh, just talk about the same thing about the importance of, of finally you know, breaking the streak and, and getting a win, especially in a close game. Um, yeah, I mean, just staying positive each, you know, it was close games, you know, so main thing is come in, stay positive, stay grouped as a team, and, you know, just prepare each and every day. Coach Conkle give us a great game plan each and every day. So, you know, come out and do that. We'll be just fine. You took a little hard spill there. How did? How are you feeling after that? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I've been injured so many times. Them little injuries don't mean nothing to me no more, so we're fine. Andy, you got our hand? Uh, Keyshawn, Coach. Hey, Coach talked about the other day that he wanted more playmakers to step up. You came up tonight, I'm looking at here, 13. You know, a bunch of players scored. You know, even out the offense, spreading the ball or ball around, how, how big was that today? Uh, it was very big. Um, you know, we kind of preach on getting the ball movement and just being aggressive, you know, having confidence in what you do. Um, each and every day we work hard at, you know, getting shots up or, you know, being aggressive. So just being confident in what you do, and that's the main thing. I guess ending the streak, you know, I guess just kind of sum it up. What did Coach say to you guys in the locker room? We, we're not done. We, we still got things to do. We still got things to work on, you know. So we're going to take that as, it was a, you know, a good game, learn from it, and prepare for Friday. Uh, um Game's tied at 61. You had a good, uh, you know, backing the guy in, and, and you know, a good inside move. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about about that basket, and uh, just and some of your, you know, for being a guard, having some inside moves. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of use my strength to an advantage, especially with like smaller guards. So, you know, coach put me in positions where you know called the Barkley, you know, Charles Barkley. So, um, just take the best play, whatever is best, what's the best option. Um, reading to see if somebody come in so I can hit one of my teammates for a shot, um, the duck in at the bottom of the big man rolling under, or if I got a score. So just making the right play. Have you watched a lot of Barkley tape to you know feed off of that? <laughs> well, after I didn't, I, you know, I kind of didn't at first, but then I started watching. I'm like, okay, I can I can use this or I can use that of how to use my body inside in the post and you know how to take advantage of that.